Oh, viva di boke, viva di boke, go boke, go boke, go boke. Oh, we are going. We are bringing it home. We are bringing it home. I hope that there are more is going to travel to Japan. We hope that them back to travel to France. But we go kill the boke, man. Very, very awkward. Very awkward. You know how she is. It's very prim and proper. But we go kill the boke. Have a winner for France. Well done to the boke. Hey, uh, really, really, we could we could do with those good news. After the terrible news of the election of Helen Zille as chair of the Federal Council of the DA. And I did say, and I stand by what I said, that that represents a reverse gear for the DA. Korbila Bila is like going back to the Laha. What is the Laha, you can ask the person next to you. You can ask, check in the African's dictionary what the Laha is. When they were doing a great trek, there was a Laha. But then I come out the Marie Great Drag. D A Great Drag back to the past. Back to the past. Fighting for a better past. Terrible. Terrible. It's a kiss of death for the DA, but a good thing is that, in fact, it has opened up a new opportunity for another political party because this one is going down the drain. Sorry to say. But anyway, let's take a, a look at the development summed up there by reporters here at Newsroom Africa. Helen Zilla has pulled off a remarkable comeback to clinch the key position of chairperson of federal council. A return to politics, however, has always been seen to mark the beginning of the end for leader Musi Maimane. But Zilla says Maimane has her support. Maimane has congratulated his new Fed co chair. I also want to congratulate Helen Zilla. And I want to wish her well on the election of chairperson of federal council. Certainly, I think that it'll be good. She brings a new energy. She'll be full time in the role. She'll bring vigor. And ultimately, she'll work with the leadership of the organization. The pair's different views on apartheid and redress have divided party members. Fears remain that this may cause deeper divisions. But Zilla maintains that disagreements only help grow the party. And we don't operate as autonomous beings. Obviously, in those discussions, we have our points of view, and sometimes we differ. But we're a party that actually takes decisions based on the arguments people make and the merit of their arguments in a meeting, and not on the basis of which faction you belong to. She pledged her support to party leader Musi Mamane and promised not to sow divisions. Because I think people are worried that I won't stay in my lane. And the problem is that many people have only seen me in a leadership position. But I've very often played behind the scenes roles, very often. But by definition they don't see that because behind the scenes roles is behind the scenes roles. You don't see it. But I can do that too. I can manage something and I can clean the toilets. I can do lots of things. What didn't Abba Faisi? The former party leader responded to those who believe she's there to bully her successor. In the meantime, mayor of DA-run city of Joburg Metro Herman Mashaba is expected to brief the media tomorrow following the federal council meeting that elected Zilla this weekend. This after he said he would leave the DA if it was taken over by right-wing elements. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, Amita Kanemagwedze in Johannesburg. Yes, and watindam bokod, Ozil, watindam bokod. That's what you meant to say there. It's bad, eh? It's bad, it's bad, bad, bad. It's bad news for the DA that is going back to the Laha. Secondly, Musi Maimani's leadership effectively undermined. I've got a lot of time for, 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 for Musi, and it saddens me to see... Uh, his leadership being thumped in the nose and, 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 and essentially all he tried to do in making the DA a new home of South Africans regardless of, of race and prejudice uh, you know, uh, with Helen Zilla there cooking a snook at all of it. Uh, you know, just, just picture uh, somebody like a, 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 a Jacob Zuma standing to be chairperson of the ANC Right, so you've got a new dawn, and then you've got the Jacob Zuma hovering in the background. Just picture how, how bad that picture looks. It looks bad because 
there's no way if you are chair, you want to hoover over the new leader. It doesn't matter what we are told. You know, the story about, oh, I'll stay in my lane is simply uh, fairy tales because Zilla has no history of staying in her lane at all. Zilla has no history of even respecting the DA's federal executive itself. In fact, uh, the last time she was on the same platform with Musi, she apologized for the colonialist, inappropriate colonialistic tweets. She repeated it today in front of Musi. You know, what I like. That's what we must, Zile, that's what is going to show. She's going to show Musi flames. Her ascendancy back to that office, it's no accident. It's like a person who, who bought a second-hand thing after a few uh, weeks. About, yo, 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 this thing doesn't work. But, you know, it, 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 it's what we, we, we call a, you know, a, a remorseful buyer. She sold us a dad, essentially, because she said to us, here I'm handing over the reins to a new leader who's going to run the DA, who's going to appeal to broader South Africa. And down she decided, yo, 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 it's not, it's not happening the way that I like. Ironically, it may well mean that, in fact, uh, uh, my, my money was not as much a puppet as you all thought. Because maybe he is not implementing the Zile agenda around which Zile promoted him. Let's remember, Zile promoted my man, the same way he promoted Mazibuk. But with Zile, once you develop a backbone, you are in deep trouble with her. And it's not it's nothing personal. I think Zile is a, is, is, is a generally all right human being. You know, it's an all right human being. But she has behaved exactly like our African leaders who don't know when it is time to quit. Hey, but Mashaba we born. Mashaba is smelling the, the laha. She's is smelling the re coffee. Yeah, laha is a He's smelling the coffee already. If it is right doing, I'm out of here. We hope he will follow through because, you know, with politicians, you never know. Maybe he'll, he'll do a Masina on us. Masina declared for all to hear, for all who care to listen. If Ramaphosa comes to pass, I will resign. We're still waiting for him to resign today. We're waiting for him to give up the blue light. But, of course, he didn't think that Ramaphosa will make it. He thought, no, no, it's going to be the NDZ festival, and it didn't happen. Same story here. We want to see, will Mashaba follow through and dump the DA purely because of the right-wing Laha? He claims that the influence of the Institute of Race Relations is bad for the DA, and that's why he is going to be out of here. We'll see. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. I don't know about you, but I believe that the majority of citizens of Jobek had already warmed up to Mashaba. You know, because, you, you know, he's, he's a bit rough on the edges here and there, but I think a lot of citizens of Jobek had already warmed up to Mashaba. Political parties in those coalitions had warmed up to him. The EFF, they had warmed up to him. The ANC was just being a crybaby, wanting to get him out of office. But in fact, a lot of people within the ANC have warmed up to him as well. So it would be a pity that the DA's fracas is going to cost us one of the most energetic mayors this city has ever seen. It's bad what has happened to the DA. As I was saying earlier, probably the only silver lining is that this possible split of the DA, because it has to split, it has to split. There's no other way because it looks like they're trying to cook something that's not working. They're trying to put a square hole in a, what, what, a round thing in a square pack. I think that's the phrase. It's not waking out. Because there are some amongst them who are hankering for the past. They are the diner colored bannards of this world who think P.W. Botha was all right. They are the Helen Zillers of this world who think that colonialism was not so bad. They believe 
that uh, uh, you know Fervurut was was not such a bad guy. There are people in the DA who think these things. Today they expressed it. I'm told by those who attended that the, the, some of the whiteies there were so emboldened, hey, so emboldened, so arrogant, and they could, could see, hey, but you know, it, it's 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 back. My buye, our DA is back into our own hands. It's bad for a party that sold us a dad of unity, a, a, a party that sold us one South Africa. Don't see what I need, that there may well be an opportunity for a new party because those who are bold, those who don't want to be misrepresented as hankering for the past will have to leave the DA or expel those who are hankering for the past but at the end of the day, a new party is on the horizon, South Africa. Our politics are set to change. And unfortunately, Zile sits at the center of it. Good luck, Democratic Alliance. All the best. Let's take a break now.